Chapter 1 Laverne de Fazio was a bottle capper at the Scots Brewery. She and her best friend worked together. But, they were both still living at home. They were girls of the fifties and thought that it was time for them to move out. This was a tough call for Laverne, she and her dad were very close, but it was time for her to move on. When Shirley had told her about a basement apartment that was becoming available at the beginning of the month Laverne jumped at the chance to go and see it. Unfortunately, the apartment was in the same building as two guys who worked with them Lenny and Squiggy. These two characters were hard to describe. They were friendly all right, but they were strange and the last thing that Laverne and Shirley wanted was for those two to come down to their apartment every day. But the apartment was close to work and it was cheap. It was a basement apartment located at 730 Hampton Street. The two girls went there straight from work. It was a small apartment with one large bedroom and a small kitchen and living room area. It was a basement apartment with just a few small windows. They each looked around at the room, that was totally furnished with a table and chairs and a couch. There were two beds in the bedroom with one bureau. Laverne had her bureau from her home and thought that she would have Fonzie bring it there. But Laverne and Shirley could not turn down the place and they left a deposit with the landlady that day. But now it was time for them to move out. Laverne stopped at her dad's pizza shop. The place had been her father's ever since she was a young child and sometimes she even helped him with it. As Laverne went to the pizza shop she saw her dad busy at work. She told him dad I need to talk to you. Shirley and I have found an apartment and I will be moving in with her at the beginning of the month. Laverne watched for any expression from him and she told him I will still help you out here, don't worry. Laverne's dad was proud of his daughter and he knew that she was right. It was time for her to move on. Where is the apartment, he asked. Two is in the basement of 730 Hampton Street she told him. I want to see the apartment before you sign a lease he told her. Laverne gave her dad a hug and told him it's too late we already signed the lease. Frank wanted to see the apartment first but Laverne was now an adult and would have to make her own way in life. He would be glad to help her when he could. With that he gave her a hug. Shirley on the other hand was discouraged from moving. You are too young. Why don't you wait for another apartment, one in a better neighborhood her parents told her. Her mother did not like the idea of her daughter moving out and did her best to discourage her. But the moving day did indeed come and with just a few things of their own the two girls moved into their new home. Money was going to be tight, but they were now single and free. Fonzie one of Laverne's friends brought over a couple of things that the girls would need. Laverne's father gave her a couple of pots and pans and some dishes from his house and they were in business. There was the noise from the street just above their bedroom, and there was a draft coming from the front door, but the house was theirs and they were happy. Their new landlady Edna came down and offered to loan them a few things until they got on their feet. She had been married five times and had several things that had been hanging around her house collecting dust. Both Laverne and Shirley were thankful for anything. Work was always long and hot. They both worked at the bottle capping department, and had little hope that they would ever get a raise. Laverne had the extra money from her father's pizza shop, but Shirley had no one to go to. Carmine was Shirley's boyfriend. They had dated since high school and he was one of the fist guys to come over to the apartment. Lenny and Squiggy had been there and tried to give them a pet rat, but they had declined the offer. Carmine worked with the girls and would be coming over often. He was an aspiring dancer and was always showing them the new steps that he had learned. Shirley thought that he was one of the best dancers she had ever seen. Arthur Fonzarelli was Laverne's main man right now. Oh she knew that Phonize was prone to play the field, but she didn't care he was the most popular man in town. He was a lot of fun to be with too. As the two girls fixed the apartment up to their satisfaction Laverne's s father came over. He brought with him some pizza from his restaurant the pizza bowl and the three of them ate the whole thing. When Laverne introduced her dad to Edna their landlady she could feel the electricity change in the area. Perhaps her dad would be interested in a woman once again now that she had moved out. 
Shirley and Laverne had finally set up everything and they had let most of their friends come over and check the place out. They could hear Lenny and Squiggy out in the hallway arguing. Shirley made the mistake of opening the door to find out what the problem was. Just what she needed Lenny and Squiggy had lost their pet rat. Laverne and her father laughed as Shirley let out a scream. Well life should be interesting for you too. Laverne's father said with a smile. With that he got up and walked up the stairs with Edna their landlady.